glorious thing to be A healthy grown-up, busy, busy bee Filing away the passing hours Pinching all the pollen from the coffee flower Watch though, it seems like spring in town, it's still winter up here. It feels like it anyway today, with a temperature of 8 degrees. And uh, there's not many flowers about, although the rape is flowering about a quarter of a mile away. Uh, the bees are quite busy. Uh, some of the hives are anyway. I've yet to check them, but uh, too cold to go through the hives. Just have a little look. Glorious thing to be, a healthy grown up, busy, busy bee, making hay while time is right. I'm just removing the winter mouse guards. This is to protect the hive, mostly in the autumn, from uh, mice that want to hibernate or overwinter in with the bees where it's a lot warmer. So, this removing this will certainly make it a lot easier for the bees to get in the hive. Well, I couldn't resist a quick look in uh, the other three hives, and they all seem to be okay. There's at least two frames of brood, although they're not bringing in much nectar at the moment, just a little, but they've still got a bit of sugar paste to keep them going, especially that hive there in the middle. Uh, they don't seem to have any stores, so I'll put some more sugar paste on for those. I'm going to have a quick look in this hive. I'm removing the insulation. Uh, there's a queen wasp there. I'm going to kill that because uh, that's one less wasp colony that could be robbing the hives later in the year. Now I've taken the insulation off the bottom, removed the mouse uh, guards and I'm removing the insulation from the top as well in the hope of there being some better weather shortly. We must get some better weather soon. So I'm just checking to see if there's any brood. Uh, that means there's the queen's laying, there has been in all the other hives. So these seem quite quiet in the top, but uh, there's certainly this is the busiest hive, they're coming in thick and fast at the front. That's got a little spacer on it, uh, which I used to create a gap so that I could put some uh, food or insulation in the top of the roof there. Just remove an outer frame. I know there's unlikely to be anything happening on there. There probably was full of honey in the uh, late autumn. Now that's completely empty. I should imagine the queen's moved up and she's she's laying in this top box, which was for honey storage. Now that frame I've just moved there has still got a lot of last year's stores in it now this top box is full of uh, stores she doesn't seem to be laying in there so I shall uh, slide those back over put that one back in there and put uh, the bees all on there trying to kill me and put the lid back on there to keep a bit of warmth in but I shall split this box have a quick look underneath uh, see if the queen's laying in there smoke them a bit, that occupies them, uh, you know, straight away they're after something, some food, because they think there could be a forest fire, so they're stocking up on food, should they need to fly away. Now, I can just lift that out there, and I can see that that is full of uh, 
screwed that frame and they've got plenty of room. There's probably four frames of screwed in that box, so quickly put the, that one back on. And that's that. Um, so far, I've checked one, two, three, four hives, happy with them all. Uh, just listen to this hive buzzing after I've been through it. Honeybee, 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 if you like, but dwarf stings me.